Please, write it down. What? Oh, everything you told me. Uh, we need your statement to commence investigation. Uh, sir, it's unfortunate. You allowed yourself to be duped by a gang of internet fraudsters. To make matters worse, you can't even reach them on phone again. Uh, please go ahead, just write the statement. This is to celebrate another successful operation. Yes. <laughs> Sir, we have to place you on admission. Your blood pressure is on the high side. We have to control and monitor it. Oh, I'm sorry about that, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Bye, sir. Oh, that was the MD. He said he won't be in the office today. He took him yesterday. Oh. In any case, he said we should go ahead and perfect our transaction with Green Bay's Nigeria PLC. So you can have that. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, Mr. Vincent, um, please you have to tidy up the account of Bloomstown Enterprises and let me have that before the close of work today. I will, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Sir. Ah, the date is free. I've booked it for you. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. Thank you, Daddy. I pray the Lord will honor himself at the wedding ceremony. Amen, Amen, Amen. sir. Oh, Brother Vincent. Yeah. The church administrator dropped this on my table this morning. He said it's a donation from you towards the forthcoming church convention. Sir, he showed it to you. But I... Uh, it was proper for him to notify me before taking it to the bank. So thank you very much. I pray the Lord will honor your seed and bless you in return. Amen. Congratulations in advance. Thank, Thank you, sir. <laughs> sir. Why didn't he come in? Oh. <laughs> uh, who? Your friend, Mr. Donald. Oh, you saw him? <laughs> oh, sorry, he couldn't come inside. He, he was in a hurry. I saw you praying on a car. Uh, yes. He bought a new car and came to show it to me. He also gave you some money. Yes, yes. Um, he said I should, I should use it. Uh, um, I, I mean, we should use it to buy drinks and celebrate with him. Uh, he, he's such a generous man. <laughs> there, you keep receiving monetary gifts from this man, but you have never given him anything in return. <laughs> what, what do I have to give him? Is richer than me? No, he's not richer than you. You have what he doesn't have. What? Jesus. You have Jesus. He does not. Why don't you offer him Jesus? I have been praying for him. Prayer is good. But in this case, it is not enough. You need to talk to him about Jesus. Uh, uh, all right, I will. <clears throat> and dear. I have asked you one question over and over again. What does he do for a living? I've answered you over and over again. He's a businessman. What else do you want me to say? What kind of business? What exactly is the business? Onin, you just ate this man. Far from it. I'm a child of God. 
I can't eat anyone. If I eat him, I won't ask you to preach Christ to him. He is a businessman. Simple. Seventy five per cent. Ah, that's too small. Remember, I told you many people are interested in the consignment. In fact, a woman was ready to pay the full amount yesterday. I refused the offer. I decided to keep my promise to you because I'm a man of integrity. I'm sorry, is that a hundred percent or you forget it? Sister Stella. Sister Stella. You seem not to understand my point. Of course I do. You said we should put off our celebration. You see? You see what I'm talking about? You did not get my point. I didn't say we should put off our celebrations. What I said was that, as much as possible, we should try to cut down on all our expenses. We must not forget the fact that our families are not financially buoyant enough to sponsor an extravagant wedding ceremony. The bulk of the body is on both of us. Meanwhile, you know how much I earn as the senior account officer of the company where I work. I also know how much you earn as a school teacher. A minister of God once said, it is wrong for a man to spend the money he doesn't have, to buy what he doesn't need, to impress people he doesn't even know. That is wisdom, Sister Stella. We don't have to go out of our way to impress anybody. We must be as prudent as possible so as to have enough money to start off our new home after the one day wedding ceremony. Besides, it won't be good enough for us to spend the first few months or even years of our marriage to pay back avoidable debts. That is the point I'm trying to make. Sister Stella. My dream has always been to have a glorious wedding. That's exactly what we are going to have. God will make it glorious. His name will be glorified. 80%? Mm, no problem. I'll collect that. But the balance must be paid within 48 hours, as promised. That's all right. Bye. The Mugun don't knock back for grand. Bam! <laughs> discussed and said to this case last week why are you bringing it up again after such a wonderful life transforming so lifting bible study that we just concluded this night i mean i wasn't expecting you 
to raise an eyebrow again. I don't know. I'm just uncomfortable with the whole thing. What you are suggesting is not the wedding of my dream. <sighs> we are children of an excellent God. We deserve an excellent wedding ceremony, not just a wishy-washy one. <sighs> In that case, can we postpone it? Postpone what? The wedding. Which wedding? Our wedding. Postpone our wedding. After the invitation cards have been sent out. Since we can't afford your dream kind of wedding for now, I think. Father Vincent. Why are you treating me this way? Why? No! Thank you! Good night! Sister Stella! Sister Stella! Mm. My God! Just imagine, she, she even forgot the Bible. Let your light shine before men Cause you are the light of the world A city set on the hill That can never be hidden You are the salt of the world A mirror to the world Oh be careful what you do and say Let people see your good deeds Don't spill your dirty mirror to the world don't be a dirty mirror to the church. Don't be a dirty mirror to your neighbor. You should be the light that shines before men so they can praise your Father in heaven. He didn't give us any problem. He confessed to the cry. You mean he confessed that he stole millions for my coming? Vincent? He told us how he changed figures and manipulated account records to perpetrate the crime. Sir, I think you need to be more careful with the type of people you employ to work with you. Ah, Debio, this is incredible. I do my best to pay my workers well. Besides, Vincent is one of my most trusted workers. He's a Christian. A Christian? Yes. No. <laughs> it can't be. Oh, true Christians don't steal. Huh? By God's grace, I am a Christian. Okay. And I do my best to stand for righteousness, no matter the temptation. Vincent, what pushed you into this? Well, he gave the same excuse most criminals give when the long arm of the law catches up with them. The devil pushed me. I wonder why the devil never pushes them to run into a busy road and get crushed by a moving trailer. Huh? In any case, we will hand him over to the Financial Crime Commission for prosecution. I believe I've made myself clear. You may take your leave, please. Wait, okay. You can see we are about going out. I, I, I know. Please for, for God's leave. Please, please, please. We are, please, please. My friend, get out! I said get out! What are you waiting for? Get out! Nonsense. You should have been gentle with them. Gentle with whom? Family of a thief? If they had trained their son well, he wouldn't have become a big time thief that he is today. In fact, there wouldn't have been any need for them to come here and start begging me to, 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 to forgive him. His wedding ceremony comes up in a few weeks' time. Uh -huh. Let him go and get married in the prison. Uh. My dear, I'm sure he stole my money to prepare for this wedding. Uh. Who knows? Maybe he was even the one that arranged with those fraud stars that did me recently of millions of naira. Uh. You are not telling me to forgive him, please. This is his mother. 
I'm the father's younger brother. His father is dead. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Rosito, I hope they will not send my son to prison. Um, that's our prayer. Actually, the case has gone beyond what we thought. Oh. Brother Vincent has pleaded guilty in the law court. Yeah. He confessed that he actually stole the money. So, as things stand now, all we can do is to continue to pray for him and hope for God's mercy. Sorry about that. Yes, sir. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I can I can we all know what he is passing through. We are going to lift up our voices and begin to pray for him. That God will have mercy upon him. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry to stop us, but I'm confused. I just want to ask, what is the prayer point? I mean, what exactly are we praying for? Brethren, anything. Brethren, let us just pray as we are led. I'm sorry. That will be difficult. The brother you are asking us to pray for confessed that he stole some money from his place of work. The police arrested him, and the court has been airing his case for some weeks. As a matter of fact, judgment is to be delivered tomorrow. Ah, so what are we to pray for? Ah, that God should turn the table in his favor? Impossible. I'm sorry. God will not answer that kind of prayer. See, God does not support unrighteousness. I agree with you, my brother. Good. If you ask me, I think Bro Vincent was just a victim of covetousness. Otherwise, how would one hold a well paid position like his and still engage in stealing? Oh. Haba. Aside covetousness, the brother is also afflicted with the spirit of pride. He's too arrogant. So, you've also noticed that? <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was the only one that has been noticing it. To what he matters. He doesn't know how to talk to people. Oh, by the way, did you people hear of what happened between him and Dickness Badia during the last convention? What was that? There was a serious misunderstanding between the two of them. Eh? Yes. What happened? <laughs> you see, Dickness Badia was asked to take the offering. Don't spill dirty mirror to the Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I named Brother Vincent case was decided this morning. Five years in prison, man. Oh, my God. Oh. What was the Stella? She's in there. I've been with her since we returned from the courts. How is she taking it? Badly. I pitied her. Just imagine two weeks to their wedding day. Let me go in and see her. That's all right. I'll be back later in the day. Look, the next time you come to my house to tell me I must be born again, I will make you regret the day you are born. Rubbish! And listen, never expect any money to stand from me again, you ingrate. what will happen if I begin to bother him with preaching. I will lose his friendship. Then 
monetary gifts we stop. Oh. My best bet is to leave him alone and continue to pray for his salvation. I know God will save him somehow, someday. Uh, come in. Hey, Donna. <laughs> Oh, what a surprise. Surprise? <laughs> Are you surprised to see me? Um, not exactly. I'm surprised you came in while I was just thinking about you. Really? What were you thinking about? <laughs> Some funny thing. Something that did not even happen. <laughs> well, Mr. Tinker, I'm here to ask for your prayer. Um, what of your wife? Oh, uh, she's not in. Um, <clears throat> yeah. 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 What is it? I want to add another line of business to my work. Oh, what exactly is that? You can't understand. You're not a businessman. All I need is prayer for God to see me through. Excuse me, I have a test message. Muiwa, what are you thinking about? <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing. Let's pray for your new business. Father in heaven. Why is this happening to me? Why? It's all right. I still don't know why Brother Vincent got himself into all of this. It is well. I didn't place any extraordinary demand on him. Stella, it is well. I didn't ask him to spend beyond his means. Who was he looking for? It's well. It's well. It's well. What? It's well, Sister Stella. It's well. It's well. Please stop crying. It's well. Please. Vincent, uh, you have spent two out of your five years jail time. During this period, we found you to be of extremely good behavior. Your extraordinary leadership within the Prison Christian Fellowship has also rubbed up positively on other inmates. It is for these reasons that we find it easy to recommend you for government pardon. I'm happy to announce to you that as part of this year's Independent Day celebrations, government has approved your unconditional release. Sir? Yes, you are now free. Congratulations. Good morning, ma. Brother Vincent. Is this really you? Yes, ma. How did it happen? God. God did it. Is Daddy at home? He's out of town for administration. Oh, right. Wonderful. <laughs> it's God. I'm not even knows I'm coming with you today. Hello? Who is this? Vincent. Vincent? Which Vincent? Hold it. Brother Vincent? Yes. How? Brother Vincent? Yes. I knew you would be surprised. The Lord showed me his mercy. I was released this morning. Look, look. I will tell you the details when we meet. I checked at your place. Your neighbors told me you have moved, but none was willing to tell me where you moved to. Where are you? I... I'm in Abuja. Abuja? What are you doing there? 
Um, Hello? Sister Stella? Hello? What are you doing in Abuja? Um, I'm here with my husband. Husband? You are married? Yes. I was really surprised to see him. He said he wanted to check on his mother in the village. I gave him some money to make the journey. Today, he said he'd be back before sunset. Sister Stella? No. He didn't ask after her, and I didn't tell him anything. Okay, dear. Bye. You want to do what? You want to accommodate a prisoner in the house? Prisoner? No. You heard his story. He said God released him miraculously from the prison. He's no longer a prisoner. Agreed. But he was once a prisoner. My dear, Provisions is our brother in Christ. We attend the same church. You heard what he said. He said he just got back from the village where he was told his mother developed a strange sickness a few weeks after he was sent to jail. This led to a stroke which eventually killed the woman. We can't turn our backs on our brother. As for me, I can't sleep in the same house with an ex-convict. Ha. Huh. And now, how do we send him away? He's out there waiting for us in the sitting room. Tell him we are also not sleeping in this house tonight. Tell him we are going for a vigil. Vigil? That's not true. We are not going for any vigil. Then look for any way to send him away. All I know is that he, he cannot sleep in this house tonight. I have been to the houses of some members of our church. I can't explain it, ma. They are all reluctant to take me in. In fact, it was when I got tired of trekking around that I decided to come to this place. I don't have any place to lay my head tonight, ma. What of your former accommodation? Ah. I was ejected out of the place after the incidents. The house belongs to the company. I see. What are we going to do now? Huh? Ah, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, sir. I'm Vincent. I'm from the pastor's house. Mommy said she will call you. Which mommy? The pastor's wife. She said she will instruct you to allow me to pass the night in the church auditorium. I'm sorry. She hasn't called. Ah. Ah. I, I guess... Oh, all right, sir. Please, can you help me to reach her on your phone? Why don't you use yours to reach her? Uh, sorry, sir. I don't have one. Who are you, by the way? I'm a member of this church. I belong to the Austrian department. Actually, I've been away for some time. You were not here before I left, so you are not likely to know me, sir. Please, help me call her for God's sake. As an ex-convict, it's not safe to allow him to pass the night in the church premises. In any case, don't bother to call the security man. 
when he gets to the church and the security man reveals his entrance, <laughs> he will find somewhere else to go and sleep. The fact remains that we can't really trust him. Or what do you think? I agree with you, dear. We can't afford to put ourselves in trouble. Okay. When exactly is the return flight tomorrow? That's all right. We'll be at the airport to pick you up. Good night, dear. Love you. Hello, Adams. Good evening. Yes. He said he's a member. No, he was a member, but not anymore. Don't let him into the compound. Let him look for somewhere else to pass the night. Hello? Hello, Adams. Hello? Aha, listen, listen. Don't tell him I told you not to allow him into the compound. Yes, ma. Don't call me on this matter anymore. Yes, ma. And don't give him my phone number. Is that clear? O okay, ma. Okay, ma. All right, ma. Good night, ma. Thank you so much, sir. I'm sorry. You can't sleep here tonight. I, I thought you just spoke with the pastor's wife. Yes. I what did she tell you? Don't worry about that. You can't sleep here tonight. That is all. Good night. Ah. Ha. Ah. My God. Vincent, oh, Vincent, we oh. <coughs> Come right in. Come right inside. Ah, Vincent, ah, ah. tell me, how did you escape? Did you break? No, I didn't escape. I was released. Released? Yes, I was pardoned by the government. Eh? Yes, uh, Donald, I need your help. Please. Can I sleep here tonight? Why not, if not? You are always welcome here, any day, any time. After all, you are once a housemate, until you accepted Jesus. Or was it Jesus who accepted you? All the two of you accepted one another. <laughs> Thereafter, you turned your back on the guys. I'm packed out. Wait and do. Come, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Let me get you something to freshen up. Please and do. This is unbelievable. My Christian brothers and sisters shut their doors against me. But an unbeliever accepted me with open hands. Vincento! Vincento! What are these? Stops! For whom? For you! Enjoy this while I arrange for correct food. No! I can't take any of this. I'm a Christian. I mean, I'm born again. You know it. Don't give me that. You're not born again. Better put, you are no longer born again. Real Christians don't engage in the kind of crime that sent you to jail. We heard everything. Vincent, you are a hard guy. 
Come on, show it. Enjoy yourself. Please. Please. I don't mind sleeping on the floor in the church, if you will allow me. I'm sorry, that will not be possible. You know different groups meet in the church at different times. Different departments also hold their weekly videos on different days of the week. So you can't cope in such situation. There's no problem with that, sir. I will join any group that comes for the video and sleep after they are true. Well, it's not decent to convert the church auditorium to a place of residence. I think it's better you remain with your friends. Sir, staying with them will not help my spiritual life. They are unbelievers. Sir, I will appreciate it. If you can fix me up with a brother in the church who will house me till I'm able to gather the pieces of my life again. You just told me no one was willing to take you in. So I can't force you on anyone. So you will have to continue to manage with those people for now. Huh. Uh, sir. I'm sorry. I have important things to attend to. You have to go now. Don't spill dirt to me, the road to the world. Let it shine to Don't the world. Don't spill dirt to me, the road to the world. Inspector Marcos. Uh, Sergeant Edwin. We are from the State Police Headquarters. You are welcome. What can we do for you? We are investigating a kidnap case. Here is a warrant from our office. The kidnappers have been communicating with the family of the victim with a phone number on your GSM network. We are here to track the number. We also need a log of calls and an inventory of text messages to and from the number. Precisely within the last one week. Ah, no, make it in the last two weeks. That's all right, sir. You have the phone number? Oh, sure. Here. Yeah. Rushing out again? You've not slept in this house for days. You only rush in and rush out. Alan has not even shown up in the last five days. To what in matters? Your phones have not been available. I hope the two of you are not up to something sinister. I told you we are out for a business. We'll be back in a few days. Donna, when are you going to decide? What? For Jesus, you must be born again. Vincent, why will you stop telling me this? Not until you become born again. This thing was registered recently. All right. Please keep this transaction a top secret. You can count on us. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are welcome, sir. Very good, sir. You will now pick your phone, call.
call and tell them you are bringing the money to the designated place at 9 p.m. as agreed. Officer, when my son be okay, will he come back to me alive? Madam, leave that to us. We will handle everything. Yes, that's all right. 9 p.m. Not a minute before, not a minute after. Don't forget our earlier warning. Do not involve the police. If you do, then consider your son dead. Is that clear? Good. Boy, cry no more. Your dad is not cooperating. You will go home very soon. stay so long yes they took their time to cross check the money but they went away with it that's all right but i thought you will... don't worry about that everything is working according to plan let's dive out of this place okay. yes sir our digital tracking system has helped us to locate the exact house where they finally took the ransom to. We have been keeping surveillance on the place since last night. We want to wait a little longer before we sweep on them. We are bidding our time to see if they have accomplices who may come in. Over. Good. Don't take chances. The suspects may be armed. I believe you have enough men with you. Over. Yes, sir. We have 14 fully armed men in Mufti. They are in hiding around the compound. Over. Very good. I want everybody in the syndicate apprehended. No mistakes. Is that clear? Over. Yes, sir. Over. Okay, for now. Over and out. That must be one of them. Yes. Yes. Good. And where is this word that we even say you should go and call him? Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, ma. Uh, good morning. I asked the security man to invite you. I saw you in the video. Yes, sir. I enjoyed it, sir. I was really blessed. But I told you to look for a church near where you live since the place is quite far away from here. Sir. The distance is not a problem for me. I trekked air for the video last night. I will be trekking back home this morning. The truth, sir, is I feel more at home here because this has always been my church. I got born again here. I was discipled here. I've always been a worker here. If not until recently that all the departments refused to allow me to serve with them. I guess it's because of my past life. I mean my prison experience. Notwithstanding, sir, I'm okay as a member. Look, that's not what I invited you for. I saw you sleeping in the church auditorium. Now tell me, 
What are you still waiting for after everybody had left for their homes? I was not sleeping, sir. I was praying. I, I can't explain it. I'm not eager to go home yet. I feel the Holy Spirit is leading me to stay behind and pray a little more. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, that will not be allowed. Yes, the sanctuary cleaners will soon be here to prepare the auditorium for Sunday service. So, go in there, pick your Bible or whatever you came with and leave now. Yes, sir. Um, we are waiting to see you leave, so make it fast. Yes, sir. The business went on smoothly, oh. <laughs> and your prayers really helped. Oh, we turn good. Mm. Yeah. Turn good. Uh, mm. That's for your prayers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Hey, but do not. What exactly was the business? Must you do everything? Hmm? <laughs> you think we are criminals? Is that not? You just the job, the clean out. <laughs> no, no. I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> You are all under arrest in connection with the kidnap of Professor Obibemi's son. I advise the three of you not to try anything funny because this house is currently surrounded by fully armed policemen. Right now, move out. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. He lives here with you? Good, very good. You are also one of them. One of whom? No questions, please. You are under arrest. Move. Move. For what, sir? For what? Move! Please move! Wait, wait, wait. God. Move, 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 move! I saw Vincent on the news. Which Vincent? The ex convict. He was paraded with a gang of criminals that specializes in internet scams and kidnapping. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for not leaving us in the dark. Ha, my dear, I knew that boy cannot come back from the prison and still claim to be a Christian. That was why I was reluctant to take him back. Just imagine the harm he would have done to the image of our ministry if we had allowed him back into the church. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Ah! Hey, mister, you don't do that here. Sir, he's a liar, a bloody liar. He collects his shares of everything we make from our deals. Don't you? How dare you tell them you're not one of us? Ah, don't I? I'm not one of you. I am not a kidnapper. I don't engage in internet scams. Look, Muiwa. Stop playing the ostrich. The game is over. There is no need denying us. But I am a Christian. I'm born again. You will know it. You? Born again? He has been with us for the past five years. Have you ever opened your mouth to preach to us to be born again? Never. Not even for once. So what makes you a Christian? Sir, don't mind him. We are all in this business together. Ah. Hmm. He's only looking for a way of escape. Ah. Hmm. And you? You were recently pardoned by the government after spending some years in prison for fraudulent practices. Yet, you were foolish enough to return to crime after your prison experience. Sir, uh, sir, I am. He's not one of us. He knows nothing about our deals. 
As a matter of fact, he's born again, and we know it. He prays, he fasts, he reads his Bible, he goes to church. He moved in with us just recently and began to preach to us right from day one. Please don't punish him for what he knows nothing about. He is absolutely innocent, sir. Well, we cannot take your word for it. If our investigations reveal he's actually innocent, then he'll be left off the hook. But uh, for now, uh, officer. Sir. Lead them away. Ah, uh, hey. Hey. Move, 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 move. Move. You have a problem here? Good day, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. We have a flat tire. And I accidentally fell into this gutter. Wow. I came out bruised and dirty. Sorry. And where are you heading for now? Actually, I'm a pastor. So I came to minister in one of the churches within the neighborhood. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah, sorry. Jesus. I'm getting really late for the ministration. And I don't know what to do now. I can't go back home to change my clothing and dress the wound. Because my house is quite far away from here. Hmm. Oh, sorry about what this. Am I going to do now? Well, I live just down the road. If you don't mind, you can follow me home to clean up. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Please come. Sir, the blood, the stain on his body, he will stain the seat. Oh, don't worry about that. His welfare is now more important than the car seat. Besides, we can always clean the seat. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please come in. Come Thank in. you, sir. Easy. Take it easy. Thank you, It's all right. Wish you well. Well, sir, yeah? I'm still dazed by your real display of love and care. <laughs> we never met before today. Yet, you were kind enough to take me to your house. You cleaned me up and dressed my bruise. You allowed me to bathe in your personal bathroom. You gave me one of your dresses to change into. <laughs> sir, you are a very nice man. <laughs> well, I thank God for that. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said of you. You are a very wicked man. Sir? Yes, that's exactly what you are. Heartless and wicked. Sir? Mm -hmm. A child of God whom you know very well fell into the mud of sin. God, in his benevolent love, pulled him out of the mud and sent him to you to be cleaned up. Rather than doing this, you turned him back and shut your door against him. Me? Who? Vincent. It was God who worked out Vincent's release from the prison and sent him back to you to be reintegrated into the family of faith. Unfortunately, you pushed him back. You, you pushed him back into the wilderness of sin to be devoured by the, by the, by the ravenous wolves of iniquity. You are wicked. You are a very wicked man. Ah. Sir.
What is it, dear? You look bothered. I had a dream. It was a revelation. What did you see? Get me the phone. That's oh. a text message. Here. What did you see in the dream? Jesus! What is it? Professor sent a text message. What? Good. I'm hanging myself this morning before daybreak. This is to let you know that you pushed me to do it. My God! The subscriber you're calling is currently not available. Please try again later. His number is not what? available. What, what do we do now? What are you looking for? I want to dress up. Huh? So where? <sighs> Dear, where are you going to by this time? Just look at the time. You pushed me to do it. What is this supposed to mean? You know where he lives? No. Ah. Ah. I, I think Brother knows the place. Ah. Brother? Yes. Right away. Please come out of your house and wait for me at the main road. I will be there in a short while. Brother Dari, I will explain when we see. There? He said he knows the place. Okay. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Yes. I'm a pastor. We are here to see one of our church members who lives on these streets. This early? I'm afraid we can't open this gate until 5.30 a.m. Ah, 15 minutes more? Yes, sir. It's an emergency. A very serious emergency. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is the rule here, sir. Besides, we don't have the key to the gate here. It is with our ogre and is at the other end of the street. And it won't be here until 5.30. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! Hello, hello, 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, please. Our car here and make it to the house on foot. You forgot to come. I'm doing no do something. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, but sir, please remove your car from the front of the gate. Oh. Thank you. Vincent! Brother Vincent! Brother Vincent! Ah, Brother Vincent! Brother Vincent! Brother Vincent! Ha! Jesus! 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 Ah! Pastor! Brother Vincent! Ah! Yeah. Pastor! His legs are still moving! Somebody help! Jesus. Somebody! Help us! Please! Our men later visited the site of the incident and found this suicide note there. Your name is uh, mentioned in it. What you have in your hand is uh, a photocopy. We have the original with us. By the time this note will be read, I would have died. This is to let the whole world know that Pastor Felix of Bajuan was the one who pushed me to hang myself. What? Me? How? Uh, please, read on. Read on. After my unfortunate fall into sin and my subsequent journey to the prison, I left the prison with high hopes of a new beginning. I believed my Christian brethren would receive me with open hands of love and help to reintegrate me back into Christ's family. To make matters worse, Pastor Felix Obajuwa, my own pastor and father in the Lord, also turned his back on me when I needed him most. I know quite well that it is wrong for me to take my own life, but I cannot stop myself from doing it. I know quite well that this action will land me in hell, but I don't mind. Since my present life on earth is already a kind of hell whose fire was kindled by my so-called brethren. <laughs> Pastor Felix Obajuan, as a mirror, you were supposed to reflect the love of Christ to me. Unfortunately, you were a dirty mirror. Instead of reflecting love and kindness, you reflected hatred and wickedness. As I make this final journey to hell, I pray my blood will be required from you and from all others who should have helped my restoration but chose to push me to eternal destruction. <laughs> Come in. Sir, we just received a phone call from the medical director of the hospital where the man was rushed to. He said they have been able to revive him. 
is now in a stable condition. Who? The man. Vincent. Vincent? Is alive? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I got born again under your ministration. I remember the message you preached that day was the return of the prodigal son with great utterance and an unusual anointing. You vividly described the unconditional love the father had for the prodigal son. I shed tears like a baby. I gave my life to Jesus that day. That day, you took me up as a young convert. You taught me the way of the Lord. Like the prodigal son, I returned from the prison with a confidence that like the father of the prodigal son, you will receive me with open arms and allow me to lay my much troubled head on your chest to receive comfort and be brought back on my feet spiritually. <laughs> but, Daddy, you have money rejected me and pushed me into the cold world. You left me to my fate. You left me to wander around like a vagabond. Brother Vincent, we accept that we did not do well at all. We are indeed very sorry. Please, forgive us. <laughs> Mommy and I have discussed. We are taking you home to live with us until we are able to secure a good accommodation for you. We are bringing you back into the church assembly. And we will do everything possible to get you a good job within the next two weeks. Please, forgive us. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. I know the attempt to take my life was a foolish one. It was a sin against God. Please, pray for me. Ask God to forgive me, please. <laughs> Let your light shine before men Cause you are the light of the world A city set on the hill That can never be hidden You are the salt of the world A mirror to the world Oh be careful what you do and say Let people see your good deeds Don't feel dirty Be careful and be watchful 
Where you go, what to do, how you live your life Cause you have